Well, NASA will launch the second commercial crew rotation to the International Space Station with commercial partner SpaceX. This crew of four astronauts will join the Expedition 65 crew for a six-month science mission aboard the ISS. They'll temporarily increase the station's population to 11 for five days until the four crew members from the first commercial crew conclude their six-month mission and return to Earth. Here to tell us about what's on tap, NASA astronaut Jasmine Mogbelly. Hey, welcome to the morning show. How are you? Great, how are you? Great. So it's perhaps symbolic that this launch is scheduled for Earth Day. So what's the slogan? Off the Earth, for the Earth, humbling for this crew? Exactly. Yeah, they're so it, it's so impressive. Um, the fact that they're launching on Earth Day and, you know, all the things that happen on the space station that support us back here on planet Earth both looking back and observing the earth and the different weather that happens, the different changes in the climate, in the uh, forest regions and things like that, but also all the other contributions from the research that happens on the space station. So I know the spacecraft and launch vehicle passed the flight readiness review, and uh, basically the only concerns right now are winds at the launch site and weather conditions downrange. Yes, so far everything is looking really good. As you said, the uh, it's supposed to clear up for the launch tomorrow. Uh, the the only concern is the the high winds tomorrow. So one thing unique about this mission is that the pilot is going to sit in the same seat her husband occupied in Crew Dragon a year ago next month. I'm talking about a husband and wife astronaut team. Pretty cool. Yes, how crazy is that? It's very cool. It's the first time uh, we're reusing a Crew Dragon. Um, the Endeavor, as you said, that Bob flew on just last year, Megan will be on this year. So that is very exciting. And also reusing the booster from the Falcon 9 for a crewed mission for the first time. So very exciting. And NASA's just chosen SpaceX to land Americans on the moon as part of the Artemis program, of which, by the way, you are a part. They haven't chosen the crews yet. You may be a part of it. You excited? Oh, absolutely. I mean, it's been my dream just to be an astronaut since I was a little kid. So uh, the fact that I could potentially be part of this uh, program to to put us back on the moon and and eventually even further to Mars is it's almost surreal. And uh, I still can't quite believe it. So when would you find out if and when you'd get to fly? Well, so we're going to fly uh, the Artemis one mission uh towards the end of this year. And so the first crewed mission, Artemis II, um, will probably start selecting crews about two years out. So it could be in the next year or two that we're assigning crews for that mission. All right, love to see the uh, morning that you just uh, jump aboard the Crew Dragon and start rocketing into space. Thanks for spending <laughs> no. some time with us. Absolutely, thank you for having me.